By the way, all you uh, fudsters and haters and doubters about Tesla, thanks for your comments too, and thanks for the views. Morons. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Something's been bothering, let me brighten this up a little bit. There we go. Something's been bothering me for the past couple days since I put up that video about the uh, charge port door problem. You know, and that little piece that came off and how I thought it was um, uh, part of the charging error that I got. And people have been commenting, thanks for your comments by the way. People have been commenting saying, you know what, that's a small little piece. Other people have been saying it's fallen off their cars too and they've just uh, super glued it on or silicone or whatever. But people are saying, you know, that's a small little piece that if it comes off that easily and your car doesn't charge, that's a design flaw, if anything, on Tesla's part, which is a good point. It is. So it's been making me think that, you know what, that little small little piece, like that's not Tesla. Yeah, they've had some issues in the past. That's not like Tesla to make a small little part and just glue it on with the potential of it coming off. And luckily I found it, but if someone loses it, then you you can't charge your car. if it Because like I said, some people say it's a sensor, it's a uh, RFID. Some people say it's NFC. Just kind of something to sense that you can charge your car or whatever. But anyways, the point is, made me think that, you know what? It can't be that. So what I did, because I, I haven't super glued it on or put it back on. I'm going to take the test. All I did was take double sided tape and put it back on. So I wanted to see if I could reproduce this problem. Like basically if I could take it off, put it in my pocket or wherever and see if I could reproduce the same charging error because I wasn't a hundred percent sure that that was the problem. Like I said, I just come from a level two public charger and I was wondering if maybe the level two charger was acting up and maybe that's what gave me the uh, charging error and like I said, maybe the reboot of the system and some uh, downtime settle everything here in, in the onboard Tesla uh, MCU. So I'm not 100% sure that it is that little chip or piece of plastic or magnet or anything like that that it could possibly be like some people have suggested. So I'm going to take it off and see if I can charge, see if I can reproduce this problem. Come with me. Okay, folks. Pardon the wind noise, of course, whenever I'm going to make a video, uh, the wind knows it and stops. So, um, or starts up, I mean. So, here's the level 2 charger in my home. I've got the app open. I've taken off the piece. Here's the piece in my hand right here. Let me show you. I'll open up the charge port. Because what I think, if anything, it is, I suspect, it's so it allows you to touch the flap to open it. Because now, now that it's off, like you can see, it's right here. If I go to touch it, it won't open. And I know a lot of people in, in the comments on a YouTube video, the previous video said, oh, you know, you don't have to keep going back to your car like I was in the video, but as you can see, that's why it wasn't working. So let's open it up on the app. There it goes, it opens up. And uh, to prove my point, I will zoom in and show you guys that, zoom, zoom, uh, focus, it is not in there. See, it's not in there. Like I said, it's right here. Blue light. Blue, dark blue and green. Okay, it's charging. Let's see what the time says or information says. We go into the car. Uh, it's showing the amps are going up. Volts are up there, 247. And it's charging. There's nothing different. Okay, let me stop the charge, unplug it, do this about two or three more times and see if I can reproduce the problem. It's blue, as you can see, it's not charging. Take out the adapter, or the charge, take out the adapter. Try it again. Use the app, it's still out. As you can see, there's a little piece, okay. Open charge board. Okay, it opens up. 
We'll plug it back in. Dark blue goes to green. It is charging. Double check on the app that it is charging. As you can see, 250 volts. The amps are going up. The volts are regulating and going down and we're charging. Double check with the screen in the car. Uh, focus. Yep, we're charging. So, let me stop the charger. Okay, it's turned off, it's gone to blue. Unplug. Take the adapter out. Wait for the door to close. It's closed. Like I said, I can't open it. So, I have a feeling it's making a couple little noises. I don't know if you can hear that. It made a couple little little click noises like if it's looking for that little piece as it locked but it couldn't find it so let's open the charge port and try it one more time opens up goes light blue the little symbol there plugging it in dark blue and it's charging that piece still not inside and it's not doing anything in effect to the charge Okay, folks, so there you have it. Uh, you know what? This is not a scientific test. It wasn't a scientific test uh, when I had the problem, but I tried to reproduce and get the same charging error. And as you can see there, three times I tried it without that little piece of plastic. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a piece of plastic now. I don't think there's any NFC, any RFID, any magnetism in it. I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it is just a piece of plastic that fills that... Uh, area that when you go to tap it to open it up manually without the app or without here on the screen you can do that or without the actual button on the actual Tesla chargers it actually opens it up I think that's what it's for I don't think it has anything to do with charging I don't think it has anything to stop you from charging so all you doubters out there that think oh Tesla designed something and made a huge flaw design flaw and now if that little tiny piece goes missing you can't charge well I just proved that you actually could charge. So, so anyone with a Model 3, you know, have your uh, mind at ease. It's not, it's not that little piece that's going to stop you from charging or anything like, <coughs> or anything like that in the event that you lose that piece. What I think, and I'm, once again, not scientific, not 100%, but if you lose that piece, you'll just have to do it on the app or do it on the charger, the Tesla charger itself, or do it in the car here and open the charge port and you go to test and they re replace it or give you a new one or, or whatever. I don't think it's a big huge deal folks. Anyways, that's my update. All you Tesla haters and doubters out there, you know what you can do. <laughs> I will talk to you on the next one. See you later folks. Bye bye. <coughs> now I gotta go put, put that piece back on the car because I don't want it off. <laughs>